Hey everybody, welcome back to the Iron Horse YouTube channel. I'm Danny. I'm Penny. This week we're continuing our Women in Wealth, Women in Finance series, and Penny has an exciting topic for us. Penny! Yes! What do you want to so talk exciting. about? So exciting. Well, you know, last time we were talking about life insurance, life and death matters. Yep. Um, so now we're going to lighten things up and we're going to talk about beneficiaries. What happens to all of your money in, the untimely, in your untimely death? So, beneficiaries are super important, Danny, super important. because a lot of people don't know this, certain accounts, your beneficiaries on that account supersede what your will says. Exactly. Right. So, it doesn't matter if your will says, all my money goes to my spouse, if your 401k at work says your ex-spouse's name on it, guess where it's going? Yep. Yeah. You got to it. The to the ex-spouse. And then Ouch. you've got attorneys coming in, you've got legal bills, you've got, people you've got mad. Probate, you've got estate stuff. You're going to end up it's spending, well, you're not going to, but your beneficiaries are going to end up fighting, yep. spending money that they don't need to spend simply because you didn't log into your 401k, log into your IRA, talk to your financial advisor, and make sure your beneficiaries were up to date. Absolutely. And not only that, but let's think about on a more somber note, your family is mourning and sad, and now they have to deal with this on top of it when, like you said, something as simple as a login or a phone call could have prevented all of that. So I would suggest, especially if you or your spouse were previously married, or even if not, because sometimes we start a job and we put our parents yep. on our 401k, right? Because we're not, we don't have a spouse, we don't have kids. So you really, if you're an uncertain, even if you think you're certain, I would say have the conversation, check them all out, just make a list of everything. Um, and log in, and if you can't remember your login, that's also a sign that maybe it's been a while since you've checked it out. Um, call, call the HR department, call who you need to call, and find out who the beneficiary is listed on your account. Now legally, sometimes you have to have a certain person listed. So for example, in the state of Iowa, you have to have your spouse on, the four, on your 401k as the beneficiary. Now if you decide that you don't want to, or your spouse is okay with that, your spouse does have to sign off on that. So yep. there are some, um, Additional details around it, and um, it is challenging sometimes to navigate, but honestly, just, just pick up the phone, make a phone call, go online. It's so, so, so important to take care of your family um, and just give that everyone that peace of mind. 100%. And if you are running into roadblocks, if you can't figure out how to change it, uh, give us a call. Yep. Even if we're not working together, we're more than happy to help you navigate those things. We want to make sure you are in the right situation, your family is taken care of. Um, Penny's great at it. Um, I can help follow HR, or find the 800 number, yep. figure out what you need to do in order to make sure those funds are going to the place that you want them to go to when the worst does happen. Absolutely. It's just too important yep. to not be certain, yeah, 100%. Um, I don't know if I told you this, but I bought some wind chimes the other night. Did I, did I just tell you No, that? no. Are they from the office? Uh, no, it's. I'm pretty sure it's a sound investment. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Please hit subscribe. Uh, leave us some comments. Let us know what you think or if you need help in this or any other topic. And we'll see you soon.